So um, my name is Travis Robbins and I'm visiting Clifford County, Pennsylvania. We have some, a number of, I have a number of ancestors who are buried in a number of cemeteries in Clearfield County and one of the cemeteries is located in Bloomington, um, the township of Bloomington in Clearfield County. Uh, one of the, our, our ancestors who's buried here is, um, I think it's probably a third or fourth, uh, maybe a fifth great uncle, um, and his name was George Washington Lord. I have, I've received a number of um, uh, documents that were put together quite a while ago about the Lord family uh, from some relatives in Arizona. And I thought that while we were in town, uh, we're leaving this afternoon, while we were in town, we come to his, his George's headstone, and I thought I'd read the document that they sent me. Uh, I, it, was, it was put together originally by a daughter of Eliza Lida Ellen Lord, um, and, but I'm not sure which daughter put it together. It was sent to me um, by Ed Cruz, in, in, I think, who lives in Arizona. Um, but he, this is the story um, as related by George Washing Washington Lord's granddaughter about him. So this, this is, comes from the granddaughter of George Washington Lord. It says, um, George Washington Lord married Margaret Bell Owens in 1870. And they made their home in Olanta, Pennsylvania, where eight children were born to them. In 1964, at the time of the Lord family reunion, I was taken and shown the home where my mother was born and raised. On this home property, George had a blacksmith shop and carpenter shop. George had a very inventive mind and hoped to make his fortune with a cant hook of which he was the inventor. Now we've since found out as we toured um, the Clearfield County Historical Society that the cant hook is a very popular uh, contraption or mechanism used in logging. Uh, I also know this because my relatives, those that were visiting here in Clearfield County are lumber, lumber people and they have used and used the cant hook quite a bit. They were surprised to find out that they had a relative who actually invented it. Um, but uh, more about George Washington Lord. Um, Calvin Lord of Tucson has the original blueprint of the invention uh, bearing the signature of George Washington Lord, that of two witnesses and an attorney. In the year 1896, he and he, his wife, their three youngest children, Lida, Dove, and Lloyd, went to California timber country in order to use and sell the cant hook. At Usel, California, George was riding on a logging train that had an accident and he was seriously injured. He lived long enough to give his wife, Margaret, instructions what to do, to take his body and return to Pennsylvania. That trip was a hectic one for the little family as the husband's body did not go directly to its destination causing a lot of trouble to locate it and all got and all get back to Pennsylvania. Margaret Lord sold her rights to the Cant Hook and after that it was known as a as the PV. Now I'm told by our our family members here that the PV uh, looks like a Cant Hook but it's it's a little bit different and used for a little bit different purpose. Um, it goes on to say Matilda and Mar Morgan Lord widow of Ellsworth Elza Lord has the little book of George Washington Lord giving the date he was admitted to the lodge title of Olanta Castle number 405 Knights of the Golden Eagle of Pennsylvania at the front of the book it reads as follows and then it's got um, his his admission um, information uh, and then one of the other things that's really cool and I'll show this to you is there's actually a removal permit can you see this um, granting or giving um, George Washington Lord's wife the right to, I guess, remove his body um, to to Clearfield County, Pennsylvania. And then this is a picture, partial picture, of the cant hook that he invented. So that's that's this 
this ancestor right here, George Washington Lord, born 1850, died 1896. His wife I have pictures of, uh, born 1852, Margaret B. Margaret Bell, um, born 1852, died 1938. And then they also had, he also had a couple, he had a number of brothers or a number of uh, siblings. And one of them is right here, buried right here. Um, this headstone says Charles Calvin Lord, born 1880 and died 1886. And then another one right here, this headstone is Dorsey John Lord, born 1873 and died in 1873. Um, and uh, looking around, I don't know that we found any other lords in the cemetery. We haven't looked in great detail, but I haven't seen any others.